This is about defending democracy. This is no longer Democrats versus Republicans. What do you want your kids to believe in? There must be give and take. This is White Flag with Joe Walsh. Hey, I can't emphasize this enough. Um, All of these anti-Trump Republicans who put themselves out there and say that Trump is dangerous, he's crazy, um, he's uh, selfish, uh, he's a criminal, he's chaotic, he's dysfunctional, he's incompetent, he's incapable of empathy, he's unfit. All of these anti-Trump Republicans who go out there, who take that step and go out there and say that about Trump. And then when asked, okay, Trump's dangerous, crazy, unfit, but it's Trump versus Biden this year. Who are you voting for? And they do not say they'll vote for Biden. These anti-Trump Republicans should be ignored. It's fundamentally not good enough for a Republican or a former Republican, a conservative, a never Trumper, whatever you want to call us. It's not good enough for us to say Donald Trump is unfit and stop there. Do you understand what I'm saying? It, it, that's not enough. When you say Donald Trump is unfit to be president, like uh, John Bolton is out there saying it, Mitt Romney's been saying it, Bill Barr's been saying it. uh, Heck, Nikki Haley is just about saying it, just about saying Trump is chaotic, he's all the rest, he's dangerous, he's all the rest. To say that, to say that Donald Trump is unfit to be president, which is what John Bolton said yesterday, and not say that you'll support the only person who can keep Donald Trump from being president is wrong. Completely wrong. And anyone who will not say that should be ignored. John Bolton, Mitt Romney, There's nothing brave about a Republican calling Trump unfit. I'm sorry if I'm being a hard ass here, but this really pisses me off. This bothers me. John Bolton yesterday said Donald Trump is unfit to be president. And then he was asked on TV, okay, then it's Trump versus Biden. Who are you voting for? And Romney wouldn't, couldn't, didn't say Biden. He wouldn't say it. He said, well, Biden's bad too, and Biden's old, and he wouldn't, excuse me, excuse me, think about what you just said. And Bolton's not alone. A lot of, uh, a lot of anti-Trump Republicans say this. Trump is unfit to be president. Okay. Then you're asked, will you vote for the only person who can keep Trump from becoming president? And In our system, the only person, understand 2024, the only person who can keep Donald Trump from becoming president is the Democratic nominee. Nobody else is going to be president. Only one of two people are going to be elected president this year. Donald Trump, the Republican nominee, and the Democratic nominee, presumably Joe Biden. Uh, uh, The third party, independent, all these other candidates out there, none of them will become president. There will be one of two people who will be elected president this year. That's the Republican nominee and the Democratic nominee. So if you say the Republican nominee is unfit, unfit to be president, and you're asked, okay, will you vote for the only person who can keep the Republican nominee from becoming president and you won't say you'll vote for him? 
That makes zero sense. I get it, right? Republicans, anti-Trump Republicans are afraid to say they'll vote for Biden because that may ruin their career as a Republican. It's one thing to say Trump is bad, but to say you're going to vote for the guy who can beat the bad man. Oh, that's too far. If I say I'll vote for Biden. And by the way, Liz Cheney, Adam Kinzinger, friends, they're just about there, but they're not quite there yet officially saying I will vote for Biden. I think Kinzinger did. I think Adam did. I don't think Liz Cheney has yet. Um, look, I, I acknowledge that as a Republican, I did this four years ago. As a Republican four years ago, I said uh, publicly, I will vote for Joe Biden. And yes, I took a political hit. As a Republican, it killed me politically to say it. But so what? It was the right thing to do. It was the right thing to do. So all these anti-Trump Republicans today saying the same thing I was saying four or five years ago, Trump is unfit, Trump is unfit, Trump is unfit. But they're afraid to say, OK, then logically, I'm going to vote for the only guy who can keep Trump from being president. They're afraid to say that because they're Republicans. They don't want to take a political hit. They don't want their career killed. Tough. Do it. Do the right thing. Put country before party. Put country before self. Put country's interest before your interest. If you say Trump is unfit to be president, but you will not say you'll vote for the only person who can keep him from becoming president, shame on you and you should be ignored. I'm Joe Walsh. Uh, Joe Walsh, white flag at gmail.com is my email. Joe Walsh, white flag at gmail.com. Be brave. Thank you for listening. Remember to listen, share, and follow White Flag with Joe Walsh on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and everywhere great podcasts are found. And be sure to leave a five-star review. This has been White Flag with Joe Walsh.